Oh, that's well played. Oh, well, let's dwell this one for a little while. I'll elaborate on the run-outs in a moment. That was a beautifully played shot. He's starting to warm to the task, I think, is uh, VVS Laxman. He's in such a great position to play the stroke. That's the key. Gives himself time because of the footwork. Now, he set himself up on the back foot in this innings. He's lovely and still, just a little pivot, and hits it down. A road of the wrists. It's uh, out of the textbook. Magnificent shot. Absolutely fantastic example. In terms of that particular stat. Oh, well played. Oh, beautifully played. And that is another little flick of the wrist. And that one's run all the way to the boundary. That's the shot of the day. Indisputably the shot of the day. You've got to wait for the ball. Wait, wait, wait. And, uh, brilliant use of the wrist. So that's the pull stroke. And that's that wonderful whip with the bottom hand. It's so characteristic of subcontinental players. Wonderful. The field of Axman, so strong off his pads. This time he goes whack and he does it beautifully. Right off the move of the bat. That's beautiful batting. Seven off the over. India on fire at the gap. A four for 190. At the gap. Two bad days with rain, but there's plenty of blue sky and sunshine now. Temperatures around about 26, which is not over hot for Brisbane at this time of the year. Here he goes again. Oh, that's the second best shot of the day. That was beautifully played. Turn of the wrist, superb timing. Pickle just getting a fraction straight. And BVS Vaxman showing what a good player he is. Good use of the feet, superb timing. Well, this has been a tremendous recovery when you think uh, that they knocked over all the Australians uh, in the three quarters of the batting order when they came out to play after the Australians at uh, full shots. At two beautiful strokes off his pads as well. And normally the Australians tend to bowl outside the line of off something to Waxman they got two straight and they paid the price so far this time he forces off the back foot beautifully down the ground tall and elegant fine stroke fire you know you're watching uh, a touch of class when someone plays a stroke like that. This was pretty much a defensive stroke. And he's got well behind it. Wasn't totally straight with it, but he made sure that uh, bat and body were behind it. And it has fairly raced away from the fielders. Now, that wagon wheel of Laxman's innings, the captain's got to have uh, a computer in his brain out there when he's setting the field. And he will know about that wagon wheel even though he doesn't actually see it and uh, it's very important oh, lovely shot beautiful back cut no need to run for that it's just exquisite time he just waited for the ball so nicely and just placed it behind point excellent shot you see a lot of square cuts now we don't see too many late cuts like that Lovely shot, just waited for the, for the ball, not much fuss. Just picked his mark where he wanted to hit it. And away it went for four. It's looking in ominous form, VVS Laxman. That's four more. One behind point. Beautiful off try. Oh, he's hit that one away down towards uh, the mid-wicket boundary. Will this be cut off? Oh, that's well fielded. Paddock's down. Oh, great shot on the up and through the offside field. That was very elegantly played. Boy, he is uh, certainly worth watching. He's a classy look, isn't he? 
They worry about the spinners being expensive. Now War's not being spared either. That ball's not too bad, just short of a length, well outside off. He plants the front foot, stands and delivers a front foot cut shot. He's deep inside his crease naturally. He doesn't even bother to get that front foot going forward. That's what you're saying about staying off his pads and Tim Dolker's pads is because that this is their strength. It's a lean. Now this is a whiteboard plan from the New Zealanders, and that is to make India hit only one side of the wicket. But that ain't the side, unfortunately. At this stage, holds the bat there. Yeah, well, look, it doesn't matter. He bats on leg. It doesn't matter whether Vittori's bowling around the wicket or over the wicket. Toes are on leg. It's a lovely shot. Really nice shot. Up pretty well. Flipped away, and it's uh, raced away as well. With, uh, the meat of the bat. 300 up. And then you now 301. Yeah, Lexman just got inside this, Four. moved across the crease. Got it nice and fine. Too fine for fine leg. Brian putting in. Needs to get it higher. He won now. Oh. the way in uh, front of square for four. Lovely shot. And India are now in credit. Short, but uh, no venom in this at all. Set up very nicely for VVS to just punish in front of square. He saw it so early. No problem at all. He's only been off the field for three hours during this whole test match. And we're now at their runs and 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 so quickly on the back foot, Maxman. Any little bit of width and 50 up for him. 53 now. Test match, half century for VVS Laxman. He plays the spinners so well and times it so nicely. Lovely shot. Short and wide, put away, four runs. As New Zealand continued to attack here, the opportunity for both these batters to put some good numbers next to their name. because it didn't bounce quite as high and that was uh, the way you should play the pull shot 373 for four punch there's a sweep up and uh, you won't get near that one it was a nice stroke <laughs> it's two guys in hot pursuit of that two guys really raced after that and Laxman never moved a muscle. He knew exactly how well he timed it. He never moved from the crease. He just stood there. There's things being said out there. Now that'll help because uh, Laxman gets through to 81 with a, an instant boundary and 400 up for India. It's beautifully played as well, and it's going to race away. Chris Martin isn't even really bothering to chase in earnest. So two beautiful pieces of placement in this over. Moves up to 85, Rob. Oh, man. Three in the over. That is class. Oh, man, that sounded big off the bat. Terrific shot from VVS Larchman. So far in front of Square, he picked it up so early. Oh, Larchman has seen it like a beach ball now. Look, look how much time. You've got to see it early to hit it that far in front of Square. Here's O'Brien to Larchman, who is on 93. Oh. 
Make that 97. Another pull shot. Maybe even straighter than the last. Through the covers, this will race away. And VVS Luxman brings up Test Century number 14. He's disappointed he missed out then. But since landing for six. Another slower ball, but into the gap. Another chance for New Zealand to chase just what they need. And another boundary. India dealing in boundaries now. Another slow ball from O'Brien. Once too often. Luxman saw it nice and early. Just clipped off his toes. Four more to the total. Oh, he's played it through the offside. It's 15. Oh, it's a fantastic 50. And a fantastic shot to get in there. The Bengalis are loving it. They're trying to find some swing. There was none. So it was there to be hit. Vivius Lakshman has looked good. This test match. 59 in the first innings he made earlier today. And now he is not out on 47. Slow ball. And he has picked it up beautifully. That brings up his second half century in a day. India forced to follow on. Lakshman the shining light this morning. And he has held the torch again this afternoon. A lovely shot. That is a beauty. Perfect use of the feet against the spin between the bowler and middle. Well, that's a better shot. Down the ground for four. 24 boundaries. Three boundaries in this over. Last ball of the over. Well pitched up. Smashed through the offside again. That's a wonderful shot. Running away down towards the boundary. This will be four as well. This place has come alive. Laxman is starting to play some shots. Oh, through the gap again, through the gap again. VVS Laxman is having a ball. And there's the double hundred for VVS Laxman.